Okay, Dot, really lovely to see you. This is Dot, everybody. Dot's been coming to church at Bethel for how many years? About 15, 16 years, I think. Brilliant, it's been, yeah. It's lovely. And, um, and obviously, lately, you've been more confined to home. We'll find out a little bit more about that in just a second. But I've got some quick choir quick fire questions for you right um uh, so just some one word answers so just, just to get get into the flow of answering questions all right yes and um, and for folks to get to know you um chocolate or crisps chocolate <laughs> every time chocolate easter's come in brilliant yeah. um uh, uh where would you say your best holiday destination was i'm probably a bit um what do you call it? But Budapest. 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 Was there a reason for Budapest? Because that's where my husband came I from. But, and it is a lovely country. Yeah. Especially Budapest itself. Yeah. Fabulous capital yeah. city. Yeah. Uh, and what about um, TV? What's your favourite TV programme? I like mostly documentaries mm -hmm. and perhaps Coronation Street, but it's got a bit out of proportion now, isn't it? Like it from what, what it's it a used disaster to be like. Every other month, yeah, is there? Yeah, mm. yeah. Sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> but you like your David Attenboroughs and yes, and, and the documentaries and brilliant. the police on the motorways and things like that. You know, chasing yeah, after the baddies. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lovely. All right. Have you always been um, local? Yeah, I'm an Albury girl. Mm -hmm. This is the farthest away from Albury I've been living here because this is Bearwood Smithwick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I where, do like it here. Where would you have gone to school? Albury, Albright's Rude End School, junior and infants, and then to Albright's so uh, Girls Secondary Modern School, they're called it them days. Lovely. It's no longer there though, it's a shame. Yeah, did you do well at school? Sort of, but I was always away poorly. Like oh, okay. Mum was always having me up the hospital, things like that. Yeah. My sister was a bit more cleverer than me. Yeah, but you survived. <laughs> survived, yeah. to tell the tale. I'm probably cleverer than her now. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope she's, yeah, let's see, hope the family see that and make notes. She wants me to send it to her. <laughs> Lovely. Because <laughs> she um, lives in Durham, as oh, you know. Oh, does she? Do you see yeah. her often? When she can get down. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. But she's got a really lovely accent up there as well. Why are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> so um, what did you do uh, before you retired? I drove for social services 26 years. But before that, my trade was dressmaking from the world's wear in Albury. Lots of people might remember that. Yeah. I don't know whether you remember it. I, I might be a little bit too... Uh, Young. Young. Uh, <laughs> it was but, where the old bus terminus was. Okay. The old, really old bus terminus. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. There was a church there, Tabernacle, I think. Mm -hmm. cool, and the congregation. The was down yeah, there as yeah, well before yeah. they built what was Saver Centre and now Sainsbury's. Yes, yeah. Brilliant. And so when you say you drove for for social services, what, what was that about? Taking the disabled people to and from the day centres different jobs for, and wheels on wheels as well, sometimes in the middle of the day. Yeah. Different jobs that the boss wanted us to do, like, you know, on, on wheels. Lovely, lovely, just getting yeah, people I, I know my happy day is driving. Lovely. Yeah, because we used to have a sing song heart. in the bus sometimes. <laughs> not the wheels on the bus, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> Brilliant. So what would what would a normal week look like for you now then, Doc? Um, I suppose I call myself housebound at the moment, but living here, there's a nice lounge where we can go and have a cup of tea and a biscuit or a cake sometimes and have a laugh and, a, you know, a chat. You get to know what's going on here then if you meet up with others, don't you? Yeah, make good friends. Make good friends, which I have. good neighbours. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. So I've only been here nearly four, four years. Yeah. And you've come three. through covid throughout that that yeah, early days of you living yeah, and moving did. here and I did, we didn't go out much then because of the but it's a lovely sun trap out there yeah it's good it's a great complex it's really lovely that you've, it's, yeah, you've made home friends. and made family here yes yeah. the nurse is coming in yeah two and three times a week meals um i get milk wiltshire farms being brought in so <laughs> like mills on wheels coming great. to me it's good the rest um, comes to you yeah, just family, family pop family, in to see Family you. come, yeah, they do. You've got yeah. family local. Yeah, my, my oldest daughter does my washing at the moment. Alison does my cleaning. Adam, he, he, he changes my bed when I need it changed. He's really, does he? You've it got good. it all very organised. Good. So the whole family are, 
a local and, yeah. and pop in More to see less, quite a lot. The, yeah. Yeah. Johannes was the farthest away because he lived the other side, walked yeah. around. So. Yeah. And obviously yeah. you, you lost your son Christmas last year. Last year. year yeah. before yeah. Boxing Day. Difficult time for your dog. It was. Yeah. And it, it went in his sleep, which was a better way to go. Yeah. I think yeah. anyway. So we don't expect to lose our children. Oh, no. It must have been really no, hard. I used to say that, but I know what it's like now. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Has, has God God helped you through that? Would you yes, say? How's yes, he, how's he did. He, how have you sensed him being close to you and supported you some, through some of the last years? Of, the last years with with loss, with COVID, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I pray a lot, a lot more than I used to, with all what's gone on the last few years. And yes, he has helped me. He's helped me to be patient as well with waiting for all these operations to be done because of no fault of my own, just that the legs have gone acting yeah. awkward so and that I can't have that hip done. And that's the but reason I, yeah. you're, you're housebound at the moment, housebound. otherwise you'd be out and about running can't everybody around and trolley, sorting yeah. everything out. Yeah. If I go to the hospital, I go on, a, on their transport now because I can't get in and out of cars at the yeah. moment. And, and so um, how can we best pray alongside you, Doc? What would your prayers be? And because, you know, we, we'd love to sort of back you up in prayer, really, as a church. How can we pray for you over the coming I think weeks? Thank you, Marvin. I get David coming every now and again on a Friday and he always prays for me. Yeah. I look forward to David coming, really. Yeah. He's a nice man, isn't he? He is. He, he's not bad. You know, he's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives you communion. Yeah. Yeah. Does he charge? No. <laughs> That's, that was the right answer, Doc. That was the right <laughs> answer. Um, so, so how can how, what are you praying for? How can we pray about your your hospital and uh, the delays that you're experiencing? Uh, can we to, pray to, to pray for the NHS because I know they're struggling at the moment with everything. Mm. Um, to pray for all the doctors and nurses and things that need to be there to to help us with our illness to get things done. Yeah. Because they do need a lot of prayer, don't they? And you will have the known the other side to this because you worked um, alongside the doctors at Albury Health Centre, was I it? I did, yes. Yeah. Uh, tell us a se for just a second about that. I was the chair of the patient participation group and then COVID came and we had to give it up because of meeting. Yeah, what a great contribution, though, to, to the local health authority yeah, yeah. Uh, in that way. And I was a trustee for Ideal for All as well for a while. Brilliant. Quite a few years. Yeah, you've been very active. For the years I've known you, you've been very active in the community. Every uh, day. When I left, and... left work, every Monday to Friday, I did some sort of voluntary work. Yeah. Dot, it's lovely just to chat with you and catch up with you. Everybody at Bethel's rooting for you so that you get this, this hip operation sorted really quickly. Um, and we really hope that we'll see you soon back at church one day. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, everybody who's rooting for me. Thank you very much. And amen. <laughs>